as you can see, <laughs> all of my plants back there just barely fit on my little table. <laughs> well, hello friends. My name is Bree and welcome to that Iowa homestead. Today, I wanted to talk briefly about hardening off. So, I have been working on hardening off my plants all week this week. If you don't know what hardening off is, it is the process of getting your plants um, used to the sun, the natural sunlight, and the outside temperature fluctuations. Sometimes um, when moving plants from being inside where everything's temperature controlled, they get the same amount of light every day. And then moving them outside, if you just tried to plant those directly without doing going through this hardening off process, that can really stress your plants out. And sometimes they can get what's called like transplant shock. Typically they usually end up getting some, some kind of transplant shock anyways. This just lessens that blow. Um, sometimes if you take them from inside to outside without going through this process, it can just completely kill or stunt your plants and then you're in a world of hurt. So it is very important in the springtime after you start your seeds to go ahead and go through this hardening off process. It takes about a week of consistent work, but very worth it. Very worth it for your plants and your garden. So I just took all my plants right here from just inside this door right here to my little table right here. It took me about five minutes to get all these plants out. Not bad, not bad. And then later on this evening, um, I will bring them back inside. So to quickly explain how I went through this hardening off process, typically what I do is I like to wait for an overcast day and then I bring all of my plants outside on that overcast day and I let them sit out there for about four to six hours. Then again, like I said, I move them back inside in the evening. You do not have to wait for an overcast day. That's just how I do it because better safe than sorry in my opinion. Um, but after that first initial day, four to six hours out on an overcast day, I just gradually keep increase, increasing the amount of time that I leave them outside. Um, this little area right here that I have them in gets a lot of direct sunlight first thing in the morning. And then we have this tree here that provides cover for this time of the morning. And then in the afternoon over here, they get a lot of direct sunlight. So this will be the first time that I leave them out all day. And then after today, as long as I'm happy with how all of them look at the end of the day, they will probably be ready for planting. Super exciting. One thing I do want to note, I do have peppers on this table. Peppers do not do well in temperatures that are below 50. And recently at night, we've been getting temperatures that are down in the 40s. So I will probably hold off on planting the peppers for sure, but my tomatoes and all those flowers, everything that I have back there, broccoli especially, broccoli could have been out like eons ago. It's just been one of those springs. <laughs> but um, everything except for the peppers, I'm going to go ahead and plant. I might wait another week or two on the peppers just to make sure that it's warm enough at night for them. I don't want them to get stressed. Um, from the nighttime temperatures because that can actually stunt their growth. Another thing I like to do while my plants are out here hardening off is to just make sure they got plenty of water. So some of these are looking a bit dry. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give these guys a quick water. I also wanted to make sure that I gave you guys my little mini farmer's market haul. I told you guys in my video last week that I was going to give you guys a little haul and here it is. I didn't get a ton from the farmer's market but what I did get is stuff that I, was on my list that I needed so super happy about that. Very pleased. So the only thing that I got that wasn't like a need was this stuff right here. This is an all-natural bug bite soother. I got this um, from a sweet little lady at the Iowa City Farmers Market. And it is made with beeswax, coconut oil, shea butter, sunflower oil, lavender, and tea tree oil. So mosquitoes in this area, especially with my woods back behind my house, 
terrible. So I'm very, very ready to give this a try. That's for sure. Okay. So like I said, I did not get a ton from the farmer's market. And what I did get is all herbs. So very pleased about that. First off, what I got was oregano. Can't wait to put this in the ground. It smells so good. Second, I got a little thyme plant. Again, love how it smells. Thyme is one of my favorites. I use it a lot. Then I got some cilantro. Can't wait to use this and some salsa. And I got some peppermint. This has been on my list for quite a while. I'm very excited to get this in the ground. I got some lemon balm. I do have some growing, but this one just looked really good. So we're going for it. We're going for it. Then I got a couple of basil genovese. Oh, gosh, I wish you guys could smell this. Mm, it smells so good. And last, but definitely not least, I got some rosemary. Gosh, guys, these herbs, they just smell so good. I wish I could just like let you smell them. They're wonderful. So not a ton, but that is my small farmer's market haul. Savannah and I had a really good time at the farmer's market. It was yesterday for me. It was a week ago for you guys, but I can't wait. I love going to the farmer's market. It's like my happy place. All right. My husband is finally done mowing, I think. Thank goodness. Okay. So we have yet to visit the Quad City Farmer's Market. I can't wait to get down there. I truly love going to the farmer's market. It's one of my favorite things in the springtime. Alrighty then, friends. That's all I have for you today. Um, if you're curious about Savannah's take on our little farmer's market adventure, I will be sure to link that down in the description below. Be sure to check her out. She's pretty cool. If you liked this video and want to see more like it, be sure to subscribe down below so you are updated about all my new videos and all the goings on over here on the homestead. Thank you for coming with me today. I'll see you soon.